Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aquarius. This is for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the month of October. So, a lot of you are going to watch this in September, but I need to remind you that this is for the month of October, okay? This is the preview. It's a prediction of what's to come. So, what do we have for Aquarius for the month of October? If you are a cross-watcher, and I'm really having a hard time speaking, so please bear with me throughout this reading. Um... This reading could be for you as well, because these readings can go vice versa. So if you are a cross-watcher, this reading could be for you. Um, anyhow, so what do we have for Aquarius for October? One card, please. Purity. Purity. So you, this is about uh, cleansing, you know, becoming who you are. Uh, working on yourself, releasing things, um, getting back to the basics, you know, removing toxins from your body, um, becoming pure with who you are. I'm going to go ahead and read it. It's funny, I opened right up to it too. One, one page off. First snow. Below the first snow, the earth is dark and cold. Fallen trees from autumn storms lay haphazardly atop the decaying leaves that cover the forest floor. However, when the first snow arrives, the darkness and decomposing soil are replaced by a purity that is light and bright. In the sunshine, the individual snowflakes atop the snowdrifts sparkle with crystalline, or crystalline light. Harsh sounds are muffled. Sharp corners and rugged edges are muted. Everything feels fresh and new. Debris seemingly disappears beneath the pristine white landscape. Softly falling snow illuminates the environment in a diffusion of swirling forms. At night, in the light of the full moon, the, full, the first snow is glowing and serenely silent, turning everything into an enchanted, like I said, I cannot talk, turning everything into an enchanted fairy tale realm. In some mystical traditions, descending snow symbolizes the transmission of knowledge from a higher plane, the heavens, to the lower planes, the earth, thus bringing purity to the earth. No matter what has happened in the past, everything can be fresh and new again. The purity of your soul is shining through everything that you encounter. You are entering into a period of grace. Simply empty, simply empty, sorry, simply open your heart and know that the best is yet to be. The past does not need to equal the future. Your future can be and will be shimmering, sparkling, and bright. Old limiting patterns are dropping away. Re recurring challenges are releasing. This is a time of redemption, forgiveness, and holy healing. So it's, it's a time of healing. It's pretty beautiful. And like I said, it's like coming back to yourself, your pure self. Um, it's a time of grace. Yeah, that's a pile. We don't want those. What do we have for Aquarius? With all these retrogrades, it's probably why I can't speak. I don't, I don't know what's going on, but I'm having a hard time with words. And you may be having a hard time with words. Um, but anyway, what do we have for Aquarius for October? The High Priestess. Interesting. This is about higher knowledge. So you guys are taking on a very um, intuitive approach. I think that you are very intuitive this month. Um, this is seeing more than other people are seeing, okay? I do believe, I mean, that card signifies that as well. You guys are going to be right in tune with the universe. You're going to be receiving messages from above, 
Okay, really pay attention to the signs. Um, you're going to be vibrating at a very high level by the looks of things. You're going to know things probably before they happen. You're going to sense that they're about to happen. I feel as though you're realizing your goals, your, your awakening. You're going through some sort of spiritual awakening. You're, you're uh, stepping it up a level. Okay, I feel like you're going to be very receptive and you're going to be very reflective this month. Okay, you're going to be needing time alone because you're going to be feeling so deeply. It is. It's going to be a month of, of deep uh, change and release and uh, spiritual growth. What do we have for Aquarius? One fell out. Oh, oh, there we go. We got another one. Oh, dagger, fear, worries, tense situations. And I feel like there's going to be hard time communicating <clears throat> because now my throat is chalked up. And I, was ha I could have a hard time getting the words out. You may, and the high priestess is an energy of needing to be alone, to process what you've observed or what you're hearing or the downloads that you're getting, okay? It is, you know, anyway, I feel like you're going to have a hard time communicating with others this week because you're going through a process of purification by the looks of things. But anyway, fear, worries, tense situations. Ooh, pig, beware of greed. Grapes, time to go out and have some fun. Interesting. So you got a mix here. You got a mix of different energies. Um, you, need, you do need to go out and have fun, but I think you're going to have a hard time doing that. I do. I think you're going to have a hard time doing that because you're feeling, you're feeling everybody. Okay, you're feeling their energies. You're feeling them. You, it's almost like you can, you can feel their judgment, you know? Interesting. You're going to be put in some tense situations. And I think, feel like the, the ten, it's tense to you because you're feeling. You're feeling other people's energies. Maybe you're feeling other people's greed. You're feeling other people's, uh, you know, ways. Maybe they're chauvinistic ways. And I think it's gonna. You're gonna have to really, and maybe it feels like you're go, you're going out. It's like you're going out. You're going out maybe with your friends or your family or somebody, and you're out and about, and you're feeling so much that you know you may need to retreat to, uh, you know, deal with the energies that you have just observed or felt. That's what I see. I think you're gonna be in tense situations that you didn't intend to put yourself in, but you get into them because you're feeling the energies. The moon, very, very, very intuitive this month. All is not as it seems, and I think that you do need to proceed with caution, okay? I think that you're going to be looking very, very deep at things. You're going to be looking below the surface, and you're going to be able to see below the surface. So that's where you're going to be in some tense situations, because you're going to be feeling the... Uh, intensity put it that way you're going to be feeling it um i do think that you need to be careful because whenever the moon comes out you need to be careful you also are going to need to follow your gut you are going to be in a situation where you are going to need to follow your gut you're gonna you may even be dealing with some haters you know you got some people that don't really like you and you see it you see it you see right through these people i do feel like that is the case um five of coins now this is abandonment neglect um begging somebody may be begging you for attention they may be begging for help um this looks like a beggar to me um somebody on the street but this is a disguise i think that you need to be you maybe you pass somebody that is begging and you see right through them, this isn't a real beggar, you know, this is somebody that is wearing a disguise because the moon is a disguise and you see it. You may get angry, you may get angry with somebody. Um, interesting. Fortune, the wheel of fortune. Now this is a change, a positive change. 
a change in direction. Your life is about to change. You're gonna, this is a very fortunate change. It's a positive change. If you have been struggling financially, your struggles are going to end. Okay, if you've been struggling financially, that cycle is over. There's something coming that you are unaware of. Okay, I know I just changed the story, but something you needed to know. If, you, if you've if you been um, uh, feeling down or feeling like you weren't going to get what you deserved, you're about to get some sort something very fortunate. Some of you may be intuitive. You may you may be able to teach spiritual spirituality. You could be a spiritual teacher. You could be a tarot reader. You could be a medium. You could be a psychic. You have that ability, and it could make you a lot of money. Use your ability to help others. I feel like you have the ability, but we have this beware of greed right here. If you are already in a spiritual business, say you're already teaching spirituality or you're already a tarot reader, beware of greed. Make sure you are being authentic. Make sure you are not lying because this is a liar. The moon does represent a liar. The moon represents disguises. Okay, make sure you're not uh, being somebody that isn't authentic. Make sure you're being authentic. Okay. Um... Anyhow, greed, beware of greed. You are going to have plenty. So if you're worried, there's nothing to worry about. Okay? This is very this is a very fortunate end of poverty or end of of uh financial burden, okay? If you have been in some sort of financial burden, that is definitely coming to an end. Something is coming to you that you are unaware of. Okay, you're going to get some sort of unexpected fortune. Um, the star, unexpected help. Now, the star is help. Because the star comes after the tower falls. This is help arriving. This is a blessing. So you're going to be receiving a blessing of some sort. You are blessed. This is a card of protection. This is a new purpose. This is a wish being granted. This is being at the right place at the right time. If you are, if you, you know, I don't know, you may, you may get some sort of offer that you totally, totally did not expect. Okay? This could make you a star. Okay? You may be famous. You may, you may become famous. Or somebody famous may offer you something, a gig. You know, I just wanted to say that. I don't know why. They may offer you something very fortunate that um, shows your abilities. Something like that. Help is definitely arriving for you. You are going to find that you are going to be receiving a very fortunate offer from somebody. Okay? This is, this is guaranteed success. But you need to, you're going to need to face your fears because this is a card of fears as well. You're going to need to face your fears when you are presented with whatever this offer is. This, there's an, there's, you have some sort of skill, I believe, and it's a spiritual gift. Okay, It's some sort of spiritual gift that can make you money. But you can't let your fear get in the way. Okay, Express express open up uh share your gift with the world so i and there could be some if you are already in this profession there may be some sort of somebody that is famous that is watching you that is very uh intrigued to put it that way and you could meet this person you know out and about you may meet this person out and about. You're out and about. And I mean, maybe they were waiting for the moment. Maybe they've been watching you. I don't know. Um, five of swords. This person's going to pin you down. They are going to pin you down. They're going to track you down by the looks of things. That's how I feel. That doesn't. That's not the meaning of this card. But when I saw it, that's what I heard. Pin you down. I feel like this is like non-negotiable. Somebody is really going to... It's like they won't take no for an answer. You know, they want you to do this. You're going to be 
uh, presented with an offer that you are going to be very much afraid of. But I think that you could, should take it. This will uh, help you to um, grow spiritually. Not that you aren't already. I see that you really are. Anyhow, um, <laughs> three of wands, get prepared for an arrival of some sort. There is something that is coming. Somebody is coming. They've been waiting for the moment to approach you. That's the way I feel. You will be approached by somebody that will not take no for an answer. And you, it's like, and it's almost like you're like, okay, fine, whatever. You know, you might as well just give in. You might as well just give in. Some sort of, uh, help is arriving this is going to help you to overcome something you have been struggling with this is like the end of struggle for you it is it's the end of power it's the end of a power struggle it's the end of a financial burden it's the end of of uh Waiting. I think you've been waiting for an opportunity and here it is. It's crazy. It is. I don't know if this is coming from a Pisces or a, an, a well, this is Aquarius. This is this could be another Aquarius. Could be a um a Leo. Could be an Aquarius. It could be another Aquarius other than yourself that is making this offer. Could be a Taurus, could be a Scorpio, could be a Pisces, could be a Cancer. There is something going on below the surface that you don't see. There's an offer that is coming that you don't see. This is very fortunate, it's very positive. This is going to end your struggle. It is the answer to your prayers. It's something you have, it's like an opportunity that you've been waiting for. This is get prepared. And I think that you need to be optimistic here. This is something you have been praying for. Your prayers are being answered in some way. But that damn five of swords is bugging me. That is, that is a defeat, betrayal of some sort. King of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is a boss. This is somebody that is... Uh, very creative, very decisive, very strong, given to take action. Somebody is going to make you an offer. This is somebody that is, uh, could be an actor. Somebody may act you, ask you to, uh, well, I don't know, maybe you're going to be an actor. Or this is somebody that is in production. This is a director or something like that. Somebody is, it's a boss. Somebody that is in a, in a position of authority is going to be making you an offer and they are not going to take no for an answer. Um, they see something within you that really, really, really intrigues them. They want you to give them a chance. They, they, this is like, you should just do it. Just hope for the best. Just do it. My advice is to do it. You, but the thing is, is you might have to walk away from something to take this other offer. Yeah, seven of swords. You're going to have to leave something behind. You will have to leave something behind. You won't be able to, uh, take everything with you per se. There is some sort of betrayal here and you may feel like you're betraying somebody by um, 
doing what you have to do. You're going to be presented with an offer in which you're going to have to follow your gut. It does involve leaving something behind in order to take this offer. This may have to do with travel. You may, you may, you may be traveling. You may be, you know, going someplace else, moving someplace else. Um, but that wheel of fortune is a cycle that is ending. Okay, it's meant to happen. This is destiny. Okay, you may find yourself, you know, meeting with somebody that sees your ability. Okay, they've been watching you or something like that. And they make you some sort of offer that you can't pass up. You know, your gut is telling you not to pass it up. Don't pass this offer up. But there's something that is holding you back. And it could be another person. That's what I feel like it is. I think that you need to take a risk. I think that you need to be brave. So anyway, I feel like this month you're going to receive a very fortunate offer from somebody. But, it do but in order for you to take that offer... You may have to leave. You may have to leave, you know, suddenly. You may have to leave something behind. You do, are going to have to leave something behind. You have to take care of you. Remember that. Now, the high priestess it typically is a loner. They've grown to to the to a spiritual point where they don't need another person to complete them. They're on a spiritual journey. This high priestess is somebody that's on a spiritual journey that typically chooses to be alone. You know, you may be offered a, a job to be a counselor or a teacher or, you know, a healer of some sort. I think you have some sort of healing ability. And I think that you you may be choosing to go your own way. Maybe you're going to open up your own spiritual practice or store. Or this person makes an offer in that kind of manner. Whatever it is, you're going to be receiving an offer. But it does involve um, leaving something behind. could be a person. I do think it's a person. So anyhow, I feel like your gut is going to give you the answer. You're really going to need to use your gut. And I think that's where why you're here. I think that's why we're getting this offer. is because you're, you, you've you grown so spiritually that somebody uh, sees your skills. They see your skills and they want you to... Uh, expand okay they want you to expand um and they can help you to expand so there's something about healing here i think that you are going to be uh leaving something behind that you weren't You probably weren't thinking you were ever going to leave it behind, but now this offer comes and uh, you just can't decline. So that's what I got. I think good luck.